and welcome back to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. Today I wanted to talk to you about my thoughts of going back in person and this restroom pass. It's always been an issue, these little handwritten passes, keeping track, students logging in, logging out. I am going to make it digital. That's my new thought and I wanted to take you along and show you how I'm going to do that. This will be cleaner for our students and it keeps better track, better time of what's going on. So let's dive in. So I figure what better way than to use a Google form to keep track of students coming and going for their restroom pass. I use it for attendance. Why not use it for that? So I've opened up a Google form. I'm going to title it. And here I'm going to put a little description because at our, on our campus, they're not allowed to go the first 10 or the last 10 minutes of the period. So I went ahead and made a little reminder there. My first question, because I'm going to have the form collecting their email addresses, I want to go to settings and I want them to collect the email addresses. And they can have a response if they'd like, that way they can keep track as well. And we don't want to limit it to one because we're going to use the same Google form maybe for a month for the quarter, however you decide to do it. So now we've got their email addresses being collected automatically. I still want to ask them for their first name and I do want to make it required. Go right here, add a box below this, last name. Again, it's going to be required. And because I'm collecting their email addresses, that's going to eliminate the issues of people not putting in the correct names. So my first question after their first and last name is, want to know are they checking in or checking out? Again, I want to make this required because I'm going to have them check out and check back in. I'm going to go ahead and ask them what period they are in to go ahead and start it like that. But I'm actually thinking in the future because the form tracks the time, I'll pretty much know what period they're in based on the time. But I'm going to go ahead and put that in there for now just in case I need it. I'm going to make this a drop down so it's not so long. Again, I'm going to make that required. So that's the basic setup of the form. Although I did not like the way the form looks. This is the student view. I wanted to change that up a little bit. So go back to edit this form. And I created two Google form headers. Both of them say restroom pass. If you want to create your own, you can do that as well. The dimensions are 1600 by 400. That's the size we need. I'm going to go with the second one. So I'm going to make a copy. Nope. I am going to download it as a PNG. And if you go up here to this color palette, it will allow you to choose an image. It uploads. Browse my files. And Google Form automatically adjusts the color palette for your form so that it matches better with your header. Okay, I'm happy with that. So my thought is, is I could post this in Google Classroom. They can just go to the link when they need to and check in and check out. But then I'm not so sure if that's going to work. So I'm going to try that. If that doesn't work, the other option is, is to create a QR code and then I can just have that hung up by the door. They go with their cameras, their cell phones. It's just their cameras nowadays. You just take a picture of it with your camera and it actually will take them right to the Google form with a QR code. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and get the link. And 
And then I'm going to go to QR code generator. So the one I want is the Chrome version. So the QR code generator. And I'm going to go ahead and add it to my Chrome. And now it's in there. So right here we had copied the link. So now we're in the QR code generator. I'm going to control V and paste that in. And it gives me the QR code right here. I'm going to save it as a PNG and notice it downloads. So with the QR code, I am going to actually print this on cardstock. I'm going to make a copy of just this slide because this is the one I'm going to add my QR code to. And this is what I'm going to be posting in my classroom so that students can check out to the restroom. So go to insert image and remember I saved it to my computer. There's my restroom pass. And here it is. So now I would just post this in my classroom, print it out on some cardstock, and I can have it posted by the door. Students just go up with their cell phones. They scan that QR code and it takes them right to the Google form. I'm going to go into an incognito window and I'm going to paste the link that the QR will take the students to. This is what the students will see. It will show up on their mobile devices if they do it from a Chromebook, a laptop. It will show up on that as well. Once a student fills it out, they press submit. When they come back, they're going to scan that same QR code that's posted at the door. Or if I have it posted in Google Classroom, they can go there and get it as well. They're going to repeat the process. But this time they're going to say that they're returning. The nice thing about this is the students can track themselves as well. They can get a copy. So as a teacher, you are going to get these responses. And you can look here and see the responses or the better way would be to go to the spreadsheet. The first time, yes, you want to create a new one. And notice here it tells me the date and the exact time when I logged out, when I logged back in. If the students are not checking back in, you'll see that as well. So what I suggest is maybe at the end of the period, maybe take a few minutes during your conference period and go through with this and just check. If you highlight it, go to the fill bucket and you can just check the green saying they're all good. Or you can just check the green for when they return just to see that everyone's returned. So I went ahead and added a few more responses. Yes, the email is all my email because that's what I've used, but your students are going to use their own email address and that's what's going to show up here. So even if I put a different name, notice I'll still have the email address. So I'm going to be able to track which student that was. Because this is a spreadsheet, you can organize it and sort it however you would like. Personally, I like to keep it in order. This is going to show me exactly who checked in, who checked out. And at the end of the day, I can look and say, oh, this person left, but they never came back. And then I can recall that day, did they come back? If you didn't want to go line by line and highlight it green like I did here, the other option is I've done is when I just glance over it, everything's good. I put a green line, I highlight that last line, and I would put that as green or red showing this is the last place I checked. This was the last one. Everything above it is fine. The other great thing is this will show you the students that continually leave and it gives you an exact time. It gives you a lot of great data. So I hope you found this helpful.
Let me know if you're going to use this digital restroom pass idea. I know we're talking about going back in person real soon, and I'm thinking it will be helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.